It turns out those electric skateboards could be even more dangerous than they look. Hackers have found a way to control them remotely, leaving a rider in the lurch. So a boosted skateboard is a small electric vehicle that's in the shape of a longboard. They go about 22 miles per hour with a range of five miles or so. You control the skateboard using this handheld wireless controller here. It's got a little throttle wheel on it so you can make it wheels go faster and slower. Security researchers Richard Healy and Mike Ryan can hack into the controller's Bluetooth and take over. Richo actually rides this every day as his daily commuting vehicle and we were curious as to how secure it was. We found it was using Bluetooth Smart or BLE and it also turns out that they weren't using encryption. So we found out that you could actually jam this guy and then we reverse engineer the protocol so we could take over the skateboard. The way we hack it is, first we interrupt the connection between the user's handheld controller and the skateboard, and then we immediately connect to the skateboard from a laptop, and we issue commands to the skateboard to tell it what to do. The best thing you can do once you take over the skateboard is to tell the wheels, go full speed backwards. In all the cases where Mike and I have done this, uh, except for one recording specifically, you know it's going to happen, right? And you're already starting to brace yourself. Someone actually tried to deploy this exploit on unsuspecting users. The time between when we jam the Bluetooth signal and when we replace it with our own malicious signal instructing the board to do nasty things is so short that you wouldn't have time to think anything. I mean, you would be on the ground before you knew it. <laughs> the hackers will present their findings at this year's DEF CON security conference. The purpose of this research wasn't to harm people or put people at risk. The real issue is that people are already at risk and there are a lot of vendors trying to either ignore or hide that fact. The purpose of the research is to expose the risk and then hopefully mitigate it.